So today we're gonna to show you real quick how to seat your thrust bearing. If you have an engine that the main caps are not doweled, or if it's not a bed plate style engine, then this is something that can help you. Basically the thrust is located in a main saddle in the block and off of its hardware, but there's some wiggle room and how the cap can locate into the block. So it's important that you seat the thrust bearing before you operate the engine. So when you load the bearings in for the first time, I always load them in dry on the thrust and check my end play. And before I check my end play, you just get a rubber mallet and kind of beat the crank back and forth in the block um, to get the cap uh, seated against the thrust of the crankshaft. And then what you'll do is you'll get a, um, a screwdriver or a small pry bar and basically pry the cap in the forward position and then go ahead and torque the cap down. And once you've torqued the cap down, then you're gonna use your dial indicator to check and make sure that the uh, end plane meets the specification that your factory service manual recommends. So go ahead and pull this cap up. And then just give the crank a little, little tap. And go ahead and fix the dial indicator somehow. If you have an aluminum block, you can use a small uh, you know, piece of steel plate bolted to, the, bolted to the block to get the magnetic base to stick, or if you don't have a bolt in. And, um, and then just go ahead and measure the crank end play. We're gonna shoot for three or four. It looks like we got four, so we'll let it ride. Uh, you'll wanna do this, it's an important step. If the thrust is not seated correctly and it's not square to the thrust surface of the crankshaft, the thrust bearing will wear unevenly and you'll develop what most refer to as crank walk. <laughs> 